Today we're going to discuss which city in Vietnam is the best for an expat to live in. Is it Hanoi or is it Ho Chi Minh? We are only going to be talking about these two cities, Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh, because we've lived there for over 18 months each. We won't really discuss other cities like Da Nang or Nha Trang that are also popular for expats because we've never lived there, we've only travelled there. And within those two cities, we're only going to talk about the most popular expat areas that we personally lived in. In Hanoi, that's Taeho District, and in Saigon, that's Tao Dien Ward in District 2. We're going to discuss a few different categories to compare both cities, for example, the food, the affordability, the opportunity to travel, and the community here. And we're going to play it like a game show. For each category that we discuss, we will hold up our sign for which city we think is the best. Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City. Now, we haven't discussed this before, so we don't know what each other will say. It will be a surprise. So we'll make our decision and then we will discuss and defend why we made it. Just a quick disclaimer, everything that we discuss here is obviously our opinion. So if you disagree or agree, please leave a comment down below and we'll be happy to engage with you. So let's start the game show. So first up on the list, the first category is going to be food. So the question is, which city has the best food? You ready? <laughs> yeah, this is my favorite question, by the way. If you know me, you know I love food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're keeping it a secret. Yeah. And we're going to do three, two, one, okay? Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same. Okay, we both vote <laughs> Hanoi. So, why do you say that? Well, we lived in Hanoi for a very long time, and personally, I really love the local food there, especially like bun ka, bun nem, bun do, and there's also kind of like a lot of vegetarian options, especially, which is good for me. But also in Teho, there are loads of international restaurants. A few of our favorites are El Loco, Pizza Belga. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, what about you? I think one thing about Hanoi is it's got more food culture. For example, when you're here in Saigon, you see loads of signs, for example, Bun Cha Hanoi or um, Bun, Nem Hanoi. Bun Nem Hanoi. Whereas when you're in Hanoi, I've, ne I've not once seen a food that was, you know, Bun Bo Nambo Saigon. You know, mm. in terms of food culture, I think there's lots more dishes that are like native to the north in Hanoi. They've yeah. got more authentic Vietnamese food culture. Yeah. Um, but in terms of international food scene, Saigon is a bigger city and you can find everything here. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, my vote was food in Hanoi. Yeah. And nothing compares to El Loco Tapas. If you're in the Teho area, definitely check it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that was food for Hanoi. What's next? So the next topic we're going to talk about is housing or accommodation. And the question will be which city has the best accommodation for expats? So okay. let's find out. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Ah, oh, okay. different answers. Okay, so why do you think Hanoi? Um, I chose Hanoi because we lived in Teho and obviously that's near the massive lake called West Lake and I just loved living near there and it didn't matter what the apartment was like because you could just go outside and see the lake and it would be beautiful. Um, in Saigon it's a bit more dense and I found that there's a lot more high-rise buildings here, especially in Tao Dien, whereas in Teho there weren't too many. But I mean in in Tao Dien, there are still loads of good options for accommodation. I mean, check out our apartment tour if you're interested. Linked down below and in a card. <laughs> <laughs> Cards up here. <laughs> Where did I say? <laughs> <Up here. laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a good point. I mean, I think living around the lake in Hanoi, Teho Lake, is the most beautiful place. I really miss that. I would prefer living there to living here in Tao Dien because of the lake and the beauty. Mm -hmm. But I think since Saigon is a much bigger city, I think there's a lot more variety and lots more apartments and studios and high rises and penthouses that cater to the higher end people. Um, so I think there's more variety and there's more options here in Saigon. Mm -hmm. um, I think one more difference that would be half a point vote to Hanoi is there's more of a culture of shared houses in Hanoi, do you agree? Yeah. Whereas probably. here in Saigon, uh, you find apartments or high-rise buildings, whereas in Hanoi, it's quite popular because it's so small. It's a lot more popular to find a shared house, you know, four or five bedrooms and share with your friends, which is like a mini community within mm. your district, which I think is a nice thing for Hanoi. But yeah. 
I think the options are better in Saigon. <laughs> the next category is going to be price or affordability, and the question is, which city has the best cost of living? Okay. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, we got the same. Choose Hanoi. <laughs> So I think Hanoi wins on this one. As we just mentioned about accommodation, I think accommodation in Hanoi can be cheaper, mm -hmm. especially if you go for the shared house. Also, as we mentioned about food already, I think it's very easy to live cheaply if you want to. There's a lot of street food there and I think the prices generally maybe are a little bit cheaper in Hanoi, especially for something like rent. That can be a very low cost in Hanoi what do you think about cost of living yeah I agree with that also like um, I would say in Taodian especially like the price of food and drinks are quite expensive compared to Hanoi so for example like going for a coffee in Taiho you could pay I'm thinking like 20,000 30,000 if you go to the favorites Tom's cafe mystic coffee but you wouldn't really be able to find a coffee for that cheap in Taodian with also a nice view or a nice cafe setting, I would say. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. And I think I also chose Hanoi as cheaper living because I would say in Saigon, it's easier to spend a lot of money. Yeah. There are more things like uh, rooftop bars yeah. and expensive clubs for foreigners. And mm -hmm. you can easily go and spend a few mil doing some bougie activities. Yeah. Whereas in Hanoi, the clubs are limited and you're more likely to do little lock-ins or have house parties, at mm -hmm. least in our experiences. And yeah. I think that is a bit of a cheaper way. You can do it cheaper in Hanoi. Yeah. Basically, if you're rich, Saigon is the place for you. <laughs> <laughs> Easy to spend. That's why money. we're leaving. No. <laughs> so next, we're going to talk about transport and getting around the city. So the question will be, which city do you think is the easiest to navigate or to get around? So. This is an interesting one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so three, two, one. Ah, we both chose Ho Chi Minh. My first Ho Chi Minh answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're definitely a Hanoi supporter. Yeah. So why do you choose Ho Chi Minh in Saigon? I would say that in Saigon or Ho Chi Minh, it's definitely easy to get around with the highways. So even though they're really dangerous because people go fast and there's no pedestrian walking areas or anything, I think it obviously makes it faster to get around and there's a lot of one-way systems which are difficult to to navigate if you're new to the city but once you know then it's easy to get around i think definitely if you have your own motorbike and you drive it's easy to to get from a to b faster than in hanoi i would say mm -hmm. what about you yeah i agree i chose ho chi minh we lived in hanoi first and i think the thing about hanoi is it's most of it is a lot of little back streets narrow mm -hmm. alleys sharp corners and it's part of the yeah. quaintness and beauty of hanoi I, I really like that style like the french architecture and little alleyways um, but compared to Saigon where you have big uh, highway, six lanes and specialist motorbike lanes as well, that's not something that you almost ever find in Hanoi. Mm -hmm. In Saigon, you often have a motorbike only lane, which is not the yeah. best, but at least it separates you from the cars. And I remember the first time that I came to Saigon after living in Hanoi, and mm -hmm. I see the light go green, orange, red, and to see some people actually stop, that was quite strange because uh, traffic lights are a bit more uh, optional when you're in Hanoi than in Saigon. Yeah. Also helmets. Mm -hmm. I think in Hanoi, <laughs> helmet can be more like a fashion accessory, but in Saigon, maybe to do with the policing, you find majority of people wearing helmets, even if they're the baseball cap helmets. Yeah. And obviously Saigon Ho Chi Minh is a bigger city than Hanoi, so obviously it takes a longer time to get to know your way around. Saigon is deceptively much bigger than Hanoi. Mm. If you had to drive across the city centre of Hanoi, you know, imagine Taiho to Kaoze or something, you can do it in half an hour. If you are going in Saigon from District 10 to District 9, even though it sounds close, they're yeah. on the opposite side of the city, <laughs> that is probably an, an hour. hour, hour and a half maybe, yeah. depends on the traffic. So make sure you live close to where you work or where you want to go because Saigon is a big city. Mm -hmm. Also, both cities have terrible, terrible traffic. So that's not a factor in this answer. <laughs> yeah. Which one's got worse traffic? I don't know. They're both awful. They're both really bad, yeah. <laughs> Next up, if you're a partier, the category is nightlife. And the question will be, which city is better to party all night? <laughs> so let's see. Three, two, one. Ah, 
Ah, okay, <laughs> interesting. Really, I didn't think that you would choose it to go out all night in Hanoi. Mm, well, I can think of a few examples where we've stayed up till 5 a.m. at some weird bar in Taiho, but that didn't happen very regularly. May mm -hmm. I add? Disclaimer, sorry, mum. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, obviously Saigon Ho Chi Minh has a lot more options for nightlife, especially in D1 or in the centre. But I think in Hanoi, if you lived in Taiho, you'll know some classic bars like, uh, well, I don't know if they're still around anymore, but Fridge Bar or Rasta Man or... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Savage a or Peeny. Salah. Yeah, Apini uh, or something. Block there House, are... that was a classic. That was yeah. a nice mm -hmm. on the, it was like an old, was it like castle or... It was like a wall <clears throat> bunker or something. Yeah, it? it was like a bunker <laughs> that you could climb up to the top. Yeah. Really nice view of the lake, but don't know if that's still around. No. I mean, yeah, you can do things. I think Hanoi is more like a lockdown culture. Yeah. But, oh no, not lockdown, lock in. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere's a lockdown culture. Yeah. I like lock in because there's like midnight curfew mostly mm -hmm. and it's kind of enforced, at least on the surface, but yeah. you find lots of places with shutters down. If mm -hmm. you know the guy inside or you've got friends inside, when they open the shutters, yeah. everyone's having a party inside. So exactly. you can find things to do after midnight, but I think in Saigon, especially if you're in District 1, Boy Vien and stuff, midnight is is no cutoff at all. Mm -hmm. So plus I think for the range, like we mentioned, rooftop bars and more bougie places, yeah. I think there are more options in Saigon, but yeah. I enjoyed the small time community in Hanoi for nightlife. Yeah, me too. All those OG Hanoi expats will know Puzzle Bar was the place to be. Mm -hmm. Definitely when we were there. Yeah. <laughs> So now let's talk about travel and the question will be which place has the best travel opportunities for the weekend? So let's have a think. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. you chose Surprise. Saigon. Yeah. Why? I, I did choose Saigon, although I'm sure you will mention in defense of Hanoi some really beautiful places. Off the top of my head, Sapa, Hazang, even Halong Bay. Yeah. Those are beautiful things to do for the weekend. But I think some of them, you would want to spend longer to do those things. Whereas we've done a lot of travel here during lockdown or during the pandemic domestic travel. And we've had a lot of really nice weekends. Mekong Delta is literally an hour or two away from Ho Chi Minh, mm -hmm. you could go to Vung Tau or any of these beautiful jungle southern regions. So that's why I chose it. And also I think because Saigon is a more popular airport, we've had some amazing times to go to islands mm -hmm. in the south where there aren't islands in the north for beaches, to name a few, Phu Quoc, Con Dao. Yeah. Some of those islands, I think those are the best weekend trips away. Yeah. What did you think? I definitely agree with you. Like we love to travel to those specific islands like Phu Quoc, Con Dao. But I think in the north, the landscapes are more varied. Like you can check out the really lovely beaches on Cat Bar Island or Halong Bay. But you can also see some beautiful mountains in Nimbing or Mai Chau, Hazang, of course, Barbe Lake. These are all places that we've loved to travel to and really enjoyed visiting and i think like um with regards to taking buses and stuff it's probably easier in the south maybe like when we went to the mekong um, we found there are thousands of buses going every day and of course it's like that in hanoi but maybe less popular if you're going to somewhere a bit more local like my chow but if you're going to Ninbin, then there's 50 buses going every day isn't there so or you can always drive yourself you know, mm -hmm. but. I do agree. I think that the most beautiful landscapes are in the north of the country. Mm -hmm. Hazang is probably the most beautiful place, I think, in the whole country. But if we ask for a weekend, then you're not going to do Hazang Loop or Sapa. Maybe you would do for a weekend, but mm -hmm. I think the perfect thing is to leave on Friday night to go to an island, spend one and a half full days on the beach and come back on Sunday night or Monday morning. That is the perfect weekend for me. And I think island life is better in the South. Yeah. So the next topic we'll be talking about is community. So which city, Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh, has the best community for expats? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we were going to both choose Hanoi, like we've mentioned previously. We lived in shared houses there, so of course, met a lot of friends and 
met loads of new people through them. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah, I think uh, one thing is that Hanoi attracts a slightly different kind of person since Saigon is a bit more international and obviously it's a much, much bigger city. It's more spread out, um, which has got pros and cons, but in Hanoi, especially in Teho, it can get a little bit claustrophobic. But on the other hand, if you're looking to meet people, make friends, you could just turn up to Tom's Cafe on a Saturday morning and you will see loads of people that you've seen the previous week or at your work or something. And it's much easier to meet people because it's so small. You see the same faces really often and you get to know them and that's quite a nice community. Easy to, easy to be a part of that community. Whereas mm -hmm. Saigon, I found, obviously we're in pandemic times, but it's been harder to run into the people and without actively finding them yourself. Yeah. One thing I found though in Saigon is that you can meet a big range of different people from different places and doing different jobs. Whereas in Teho, Hanoi, mainly all of the expats were teachers there and they were always from either England, America, South Africa, Ireland or France. And that's obviously really cool, but it's been really nice to meet so many different types of people in Saigon. So the point that Emma just made leads us nicely onto the next category it is job opportunity. The question, which city has the best job opportunities for expats? Mm. So should be an easy one, I think. <laughs> Three, two, one. Mm, we both chose Ho Chi Minh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. that's right. Uh, you hit the nail on the head earlier. Yeah. In Hanoi, your options are much more limited. You can be an English teacher or you can be broke. And uh, in Saigon, because it's a more business oriented and international city, you get high level people and job opportunities in many different sectors that I think you just don't. You obviously can find them in Hanoi, but they're just much rarer and harder to find. You need more experience. So you meet a lot of different people doing a lot of different work, more so here in Saigon. Yeah, I definitely agree. In Hanoi, of course, you can find different job opportunities if you're in business or finance or advertising or something. But yeah, it's always about who you know and there are more people in Saigon, therefore more job opportunities. So the final topic we will be talking about is weather and pollution. So the question is, which city has the best climate, Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh? Hmm, this is a difficult one. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Hmm, interesting. Really? Yeah. Okay, so why do you say? I think in Hanoi, I like the weather there more than here because you have more than just two seasons. You have a summer, a winter and an autumn and kind of a spring in Hanoi, I would say. Whereas in Saigon, there's mainly just two seasons. It's hot and not raining or hot and raining. So I prefer having more of a, <laughs> I prefer having more than just two seasons personally. I miss like wrapping up warm in the winter. It's deceivingly cold in Hanoi. If you go, don't think that it's always going to be sunny in summer. You need gloves when you're driving around and you need a scarf and a coat for sure, don't you? <laughs> you do, it gets yeah. surprisingly, it will catch you out how cold it is in Hanoi. But mm -hmm. I, I personally believe there's also only two seasons in Hanoi. Which, which is hot and cloudy or rainy and cloudy. Mm -hmm. Because at least one thing that I think works to Saigon's advantage is when the days are sunny, it's actually hot and warm. You could go get a tan from walking on the street. Whereas in Hanoi, even when it's hot, so muggy out, you rarely see the sun. It's really hard to sunbathe and to enjoy the sun in that way. It is true that Saigon, I think is a lot more rainy and flooding is a problem in both cities. It does rain a lot more here, but on the days that it's not raining, it's actually some of those beautiful days. You walk out, ah, it's yeah. so nice to be out. Whereas Hanoi was just either constantly muggy or it was freezing cold. Yeah. Another bad thing about Hanoi is the pollution is awful there. It's definitely noticeably worse than in Saigon. Of course, Saigon is still a dense city, so the pollution is bad. But in Hanoi, if you were looking across the lake some days, you couldn't see to the other side and it would just look like a big sea or ocean. And that's kind of disturbing because it's that polluted and that muggy that you can't see the other side of the lake. 
Yeah, that's right. It's noticeably different, maybe because it's further north, close to China, and I think there's a lot more factories in the north of Vietnam, so that really does affect the air quality. Mm -hmm. If you look on air quality apps, it's always saying unhealthy when you're in Hanoi. Yeah. Probably not these days, but generally always unhealthy. Mm -hmm. And in Saigon, it's slightly better. So yeah. I personally thought the weather was better in in Saigon. Although coming from the UK, from England, I do miss some cold days. Mm -hmm. That is true. <laughs> that would make us feel like we're at home. I'm just fed up of the rain in Saigon. It's been raining non-stop for around six months. So. So those were all of our votes for all the different categories between Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh, which city is the best for expats. And you can see the final results. So which city did you think was going to be the best? Are you surprised by our decisions? If you agree or disagree with any of our points, feel free to let us know in the comments down below. It's just our opinion. And there were a few factors that may have influenced our decisions. So we're obviously a bit more biased leaning towards Hanoi over Saigon. We've lived there for a really long time. Whereas in Saigon, the whole time pretty much that we've lived here has been during the pandemic. So obviously that has hindered our experience a little bit. And also we met in Hanoi, so that's obviously a fond memory. Green mm -hmm. twins. <laughs> <laughs> Should have had Hanoi in green. Yeah. Yeah, so that was the place that we met. It was also the first place we lived in Vietnam. Actually, I first arrived in Saigon. I spent a couple of weeks here and then I thought I would go and check out Hanoi, heard good things. Mm -hmm. And I went there to stay for a couple of weeks and I never came back to Saigon <laughs> uh, until uh, a few months ago or until last year. And it's also got some significance for Emma because she was born in the north of Vietnam. So maybe a bit of bias towards that too. I think both cities are great. It depends what you think of all these categories. If job opportunity is important to you, probably Saigon's the place to go. Or if you want a bit more authentic Vietnamese culture or small community, then Hanoi might be right for you. So if you're lucky enough like us to live in both places, then that would be the best outcome to experience the north and the south. But I think, yeah, I would definitely choose Hanoi over Saigon any day. Mm -hmm. There's also a lot to be said. I think if we were to go somewhere else in Vietnam, I might consider to go to somewhere like Da Nang in the middle of the country, central region, live by the beach, lower cost of living, laid back lifestyle. That might be something to consider for you too. But those are our thoughts on Hanoi versus Ho Chi Minh. So if you want to find out more about our cost of living here in Saigon during lockdown, you can watch this video here. And if you want some travel inspiration, you can watch our Vietnam road trip north to south playlist down here. So if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And thank you so much for watching as always. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. See ya.